What's up, y'all? It's Wednesday right at noon, actually, and I'm headed out here to see what's going on with the ammo again. Now, y'all know lately I've been skipping a week here and there on these ammo hunts, and I just did one last week, so really the only reason I'm doing one again this week is I ordered some stuff that should be some interesting stuff to do some testing on, and there's a couple of things that people have requested that I know my local shop's got, so I'm gonna go down there and pick up some of that. And since I actually skipped a Rural King last week, I figure we might as well head by there first and see what's going on with them. All right, y'all, in the Rural King, let's see if we got anything interesting looks like they got quite a bit of new stuff bunch of different hollow points fmj's they actually got some 50 action express down here that's the same custom i bought at town that's a dollar cheaper here though so i'll probably get a box of that looks like some hst's 33 bucks <laughs> actually got some 45 colt here too lever evolution 225 grain for 29 bucks got some 17 hmr up here winchester for 15 bucks so that's really good if you need some 17 hmr i don't have anything chambered in that but stinger nine dollars four dollars on the arms core stuff looks like a little bit more 17 hmr down here too to 17 grain v max for 17 bucks let's see on this side here 223 that looks about the same i got some two 43 here american whitetail and eldx 25 alt 6 american whitetail hadn't seen that in a while 30 bucks on that looks like the same 65 creed more as the other day i was in here 30 alt 6 a couple different kinds of that i'm just looking to see if i see a super deal on anything looks about average for these days now more 30 alt 6 here some federal power shock for 28 bucks and a little bit of stuff on the end here looks like some mix and match 22 a little bit of shot shell stuff that high brass fast doves 10 bucks we got some more of that gun club stuff that's actually a pretty good deal i'll probably grab a couple boxes of that for eight bucks but not too bad in here today a few new things for sure all right made it out to rural king actually looking pretty decent in there today a lot of hst in several different calibers i hadn't really seen that much hst in rural king in quite a while uh shot shells in there some good deals on that stuff which i did grab a couple boxes of that so definitely worth the trip in there like i said i'm gonna swing by my local shop up here and grab a couple things and then i'll head back to the house and show you what i ended up with all right let's see if i can spot anything y'all asked me about i should have made a list because i've totally done forgot but maybe something will catch my eye in here still hadn't got a 357 anything yet 357 sig that is i know somebody mentioned some 357 this fusion i've actually got that i know y'all was asking about some hammer down but i don't think they have any of that in 357 right now 380 and 38 i don't think y'all asked about that 45 i don't see anything shot shells i believe looks about the same as i was last in here i always check my little 410 spot down here no goodies down here today so like I said, it looks about the same on the shot shells. Over here on the powder and primer, somebody asked me about 209. They got some 209 muzzle loaders here. And then of course, they still got the small rifle and small pistol up here. I think I'm gonna grab a couple of these 22 mag boxes this time because I've got something else to test that runs that. Y'all might have already seen it before this video. Definitely had somebody ask me about these soft point PMC. So I'm gonna get a couple boxes of those to test. Probably some over here. They got plenty of stuff. Looks like GMX. Uh, I don't see any Amax loaded stuff. Somebody asked me about that. I see some VMAX, NTX, bunch of different 223 rounds. This 350 Legend, I think this Defender is new. I don't think I have this Defender. I'll have to look at the house. I know I have some kind of bonded stuff, but I think it might be this right here. Somebody asked about 223 Critical Defense. I don't see any of that. Bunch of 30 alt 6 I don't think I'm missing or forgetting anything else y'all would ask me about. All right, y'all, made it back to the house again. Actually ended up being a pretty good week this week considering I really wasn't even gonna go out and, and do a video this week. Like I said, I'm trying not to do one every single week anymore just because I don't wanna show y'all the same stuff over and over and over again. But again, it ended up being a pretty good week this week anyway. So before I jump into it and show you what I got, if y'all would take a second, hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel and make sure you got your notifications turned on so you don't miss anything. So let's start out with the Rural King. Like I mentioned, and they're looking pretty good in there as y'all can see a good variety of stuff all those hsts in several different calibers i hadn't seen that stuff in quite a while so looking pretty good that being said i only grabbed a couple things out of there one of them was this hornady custom in 50 ae the 300 grain xtp projectile now y'all know i picked up a box of this last week at my local shop and it was actually 39.99 at rural king they had it for 38.99 so a dollar cheaper at rural king but that's a pretty decent price right now at 38.99 for 
50 Action Express because it ain't cheap at all. So I got one more box of that. And then as y'all saw, they had a pretty good selection of shot shells in there this time. So I grabbed a few boxes of these Gun Club Target Loads, these Remingtons. Nothing special here, just number eight shot, 12 gauge, two and three quarter. Uh, really low brass. Or, uh, these might even be aluminum. I don't know if they're aluminum steel, what they are. But nothing fancy at all, just some regular old Target stuff. I don't think I've even run a whole lot of these. I might have tried them in one of my semis, but uh, I've got actually a new shoddy that I picked up that I'm going to be testing this week too. So I figured I'd grab a little more Target stuff. Great deal on these things at $7.99. So if they run decent, then that's a heck of a pickup. And then moving on to my local shop, like I mentioned, I had a couple of specific things in there that I was looking for. One of them was this PMC bronze 223 Remington to 55 grain pointed soft point stuff. Uh, somebody had commented in the video, my uh, federal champion soft point video, that they want to see me check these things out. And I knew my local shop had a few boxes, as you can see. Now I noticed the actual exposed pointed soft point on these is a lot more than that federal champion. So be interesting to see what these things do. These were $10.99 a box and they only had four left. So I grabbed all four. So hopefully they'll be decent anyway. And then since they had such a nice selection of 22 mag in there, I found a couple of them that I didn't have already. One of them was this Winchester Super X here, just a 40 grain jacketed hollow point. Um, they call it jacketed hollow point on the box here, but it's more like a semi jacketed if you ask me. As you can see, that jacket definitely don't go all the way up. So uh, grab two boxes of these. Like I say, I hadn't tested these and didn't have any. These were $15.99. So if they're decent, that's a pretty good deal right now on 22 mag. And then the other one I grabbed was this Remington stuff. It's basically the same thing, jacketed hollow point, 40 grain, except this one actually the jacket is covering the whole projectile there. As you can see, I don't have any of this either. I do have the pointed soft point. So figured I'd get one of these and we'll do some comparing because I've also got a new tool that can run some 22 mag that I should be testing in the next couple of days as well. And then next up is an online order. Now this is something I've been wanting to test ever since I started testing these T-Series. Uh, you know, I've tested the 9mm 147 and the 127 plus P plus stuff. Uh, the 147 did really good. The 127, once you put it to the cloth, wasn't hitting on much. So the only 9mm T-Series I hadn't tested yet is the 124 grain plus P. And that's exactly what I picked up. I've got 250 rounds of this stuff because that's the only way I could find it listed to pick up. So y'all are familiar with the T-Series. If you've been watching my channel, I've tested several different calibers of it. Like I said, they started out very strong, but once they hit that cloth, they've been a pretty big disappointment. But I'm super curious. Like I said, this is the last 9mm in it that I hadn't tested. So I, it's, I've got to see, you know, I've got to see what it can do. So hopefully these won't let me down. Like I say, I could only find it in a 250 brown lot because my local shop never gets the 9 because it don't get traded in. Uh, this stuff was like 40 something dollars a box if you break it down per box. So it, I hopefully it's decent. I just got a bad feeling though it ain't going to be worth it, but hopefully I'm wrong on that. And then last but not least is a couple things sent to me by Mr. Randy Adams. He's actually sent some things to me before, so I really, really appreciate that. First up, he sent me a box of 762 by 51 ball rounds, the M80 stuff. Now I'll show you all these markings here. I don't know really much about these markings. Got triple G here, some other markings there. Uh, M80 rounds, like I say, now he said these are Lithuanian, so really nice looking rounds there. I've actually been thinking about picking something up that these would be very useful to have, so I'm gonna hang on to those for that, so really appreciate that. And then the other thing is this box of Liberty Ammo Civil Defense. This time it's in 45 Colt, which I don't have any of, so I really appreciate this right here. 78 grain, supposed to be moving at 1,800 feet per second. Uh, a lot of y'all use these Civil Defense. Some people are big fans of them, some people not so much. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence. I really need to do some more testing through cloth before I can kind of give my opinion on them, what I think of them. Very nice looking rounds, nicely made rounds. So this should be some really interesting testing. I'm definitely going to use the little poly defender judge for one of the test tools, but give me some suggestions down in the comments if y'all have got anything else in mind. So once again, that's it for the week, y'all. Some really interesting stuff to do some testing on, I think, this week. A couple of good deals, too. Now, I've got three new tools that I'm going tomorrow or the next day to do some testing and do some videos on. So some really interesting stuff. Some of this ammo is definitely going to come in handy for that. So y'all make sure y'all stay on the lookout for that. Let me know what you think about the pickups I got this week and let me know what kind of scores you might have gotten y'all's area on some ammo. Again, if y'all do enjoy these videos, hit all those buttons down below. All of that stuff really does help. So I appreciate that. Check out those affiliate links in the video description. Anything you buy after using those links down there, I get a kickback from them towards the channel. So again, I really do appreciate that. Big thank you to all my range gang members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting the channel the way y'all do. I've got 
got a lot of really good stuff headed y'all's way, so be on the lookout for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.